What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today with my top 10 VST plugins from 2022. All of the plugins on this list will have came from this year. Uh, make sure if you guys do like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button. Hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But with no further delay, let's get right to the top 10, baby. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys, full disclosure, I have reviewed each and every last one of these plugins on my channel. This is my top 10, not your top 10, not his top 10, not your mama's top 10, but my top 10, so let's go. The first plugin I got on my top 10 is from Karani Sounds, and it's actually called Lo-Fi Keys. Um, so when you open up Lo-Fi Keys, it is going to look like this. Um, it's got a very nice looking GUI. Um, why I really like this plugin is because it is geared up for lo-fi but it can be used for anything so this is what the bass um, piano sounds like that i'm using on this track all right so that's basically two different pianos that i'm using for this um, there's top melodies a different piano but both of them came from lo-fi keys no outside effects third party effects or anything like that is on this so all the noise all that warble all that different stuff that you get all you can be done within this plugin which makes it very nice and it's cool too because you can layer all the different sounds here so you can layer two sounds together but you just get a bunch of different stuff from keys to pads to synth sounds but it's all geared up for lo-fi but you can use it for any genre So you'll hear in this beat, I use lo-fi keys like this. I'm only gonna play a couple bars for you. So as you can see right there, that fit in perfect with that beat. But now let's check out the same plugin lo-fi keys on something else. So I have it on this trap beat and I'm using it to kind of just change the feel of the beat for about eight bars or so. So this is the preset that I'm using on a different track. All right, so super fire preset. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and play it as I use it on this track. And I just want to show you that you can use this plugin for so much more than just lo-fi. So this is how the chorus goes. It's going to be a little intro part, and then it's going to play right into the beat right here. And so that just gave it such a different feel. So for me, this is one of my top plugins because I use it all the time. All right, guys, so I failed to mention that these plugins aren't going in order from first to 10th or anything like that. But this next plugin is definitely my plugin of the year. I said it when I did the review on this plugin. I still say it to this day, nothing has taken its place, but it is definitely Infiltrator 2 by Devious Machines. Um, so when you open up Infiltrator 2, it is going to look like this. It's got a lot going on in the GUI. Um, what I love about this is that you can use this for everything. You can use this for multi-effects. You can use this for all your LFOs. You can use this for whatever it is that you're looking to do, your side-chaining effects, whatever it is that you're looking to do, they have it here. Um, and they have a ton of effects. So I believe there's like 50 different effects in this thing. So when you click on here, you'll see they have all kinds of different um, filtering effects here. Um, then you have just like effects from combing to decimate to reflect, reverse, vocoder, delay, FM, pitch, slow motion on them. Um, then you click over here and you get some more effects from spectral effects, some reverb, lo-fi, spread, corrupt, smear, so on and so forth. But you get a ton of stuff. 
What's super nice about this as well is that you can actually set this up and then you can set uh, edit the sequence. So you can edit the sequence in which all of the effects hit. And that's what makes this thing phenomenal. So I used it on a couple of things in the beat. Um, I used it right here. So on this instance of the cube, this is what it sounds like um, without any infiltrator on there. So then when I put the infiltrator on it though, I got it to sound like this. Right, and so then with the beat, that really did make all the difference too. So I'm gonna go ahead and just play the beat with the initial uh, cube in there without infiltrator on there, and then I'm gonna play it with um, infiltrator on there so you can hear the difference. <laughs> All right, so now once we throw the infiltrator on there though, we got it to sound like this. So you can hear it adding all that extra, that distortion and that delay and all that extra goodness in there. It just sounds so much better. Um, and another thing that you can use this for, because again, you can use this plugin for everything. This isn't just like a multi-effect plugin. You can use this for your break beats. You can use this to do intros. You can do this to do all kinds of different stuff. But we'll see right here on the beat. I used Infiltrator right here just to give me a little break beat. Uh, and so let's go ahead and hear what that sounds like. So then the last thing I want to mention about this plugin, I've already mentioned it once, but I want to make sure I, I, I stress this, is that there is a ton of different presets in here for everything, for bass, for beat mashing, delay, destruction, distortion, enhancement, filter, vocals, mix tools, modulation, reverb, and all these categories have a ton of different presets in them. So just keep that in mind. You got artist presets too as well. Um, so if there is any plugin on this list that I recommend that you get, it is this one. And coming in at third today, it's probably going to shock a lot of you guys out there, but it is definitely Fury by Heaviosity. Um, when you open up Fury, it is going to look like this. This is by far my favorite distortion plugin that has come out this year. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, it's very user friendly, easy to use. So as you look at it here, um, it just has a few different things on this side of the interface. So it's got drive mode, it's got distortion mode, and it's got tone mode. So you can go through different kinds of drive modes from boost to harsh to mid, um, distortion mode the same from clip to fuzz, metal, tape, so on and so forth. Um, then you can come over here to the shape page and you can start shaping the distortion flavor a little bit. So you have here a gate that you can help uh, shape it with. You have EQ, you have character and cleanup. And then this is my favorite page of them all. And this is the modulation page. And this is how you can get some kind of movement in your distortion. Um, the GUI looks wonderful when, when it moves. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you hear what I played it on. So the first thing I played it on was this little sound from Arcade. Um, the sound basically sounded like this. I'm going to turn it up as it plays just so that I can kind of match the level because um, the distortion is going to add a lot of gain to it. But it sounded like this. All right, so I use that noise right there. But now once I throw this Fury on there, I got it to sound like this. <laughs> Dude, that, so that sounds completely different. And that's all the Fury doing that because with the Fury, you get all these different, you know, my LFOs and my sequence and my envelopes and I got all this other stuff that can make it move. So as it's going, the GUI is telling you what it's doing. I also use it on the 808 on this beat, and I'll go ahead and play that real quick. Um, so this is what the 808 pattern sounded like without the Fury on there. All right, so then once I threw the Fury on there, I got it to sound like this. All right, so now you can see that with the GUI, you're getting all this movement and stuff going on in here. All that movement's gonna be tied to your envelopes and your LFO over here. And so it's pretty cool that you can change the movement.
So for me, again, I know a bunch of distortion plugins and saturation plugins have come out this year, but I absolutely love this one. It's super user friendly, um, easy to use, sounds great. I mean, I've been using this on everything, everything. And coming up fourth on this list today, guys, is an absolute gem. It's called Crystalline by Baby Audio. Um, so when you open up Crystalline, it is going to look like this. This is by far my favorite reverb out there. Honestly, this is probably number two on my list. I'm not gonna be rating all these plugins, but this is probably my number two on this list. The reason why I love Crystalline so much is because you can immediately slap this on anything and it sounds good immediately. All you have to do is bring the wet level down to like 20 and no matter what you put this on, it's gonna sound good. I promise you that it's gonna sound good, but it's really easy to use. It's really intuitive. I love the fact that you get to sparkle. I love the fact that you get to shimmer. Um, the ducking feature is second to none, so it's really easy to duck your reverb. I really love it, but I can't stress enough. You can just slap this on anything and it sounds good. So this was the guitar that I had it on in this beat. So it's just an acoustic guitar that I stuck some distortion on there. But let's go ahead and get some crystalline on there. And then now this is what it's going to sound like. And it's just like automatically, as soon as you put it on there. And then with this too, what I love about it is that there is a ton of different presets. So this is a reverb for everything. This is your all-in-one reverb. This is your reverb. So you can throw this on anything from guitars to drums to vocals to anything. Matter of fact, we threw it on some vocals in this song. And on this song, the vocals um, sounded like this without the crystalline on there. All right, so pretty dry vocoder uh, lyrics there or vocals, but now that sounds like this. So just that reverb alone added enough. And then we put a little delay on there as well. So this is another must have. I feel like this is a must have for engineers, producers, artists. I feel like no matter what level of this music you do, this plugins for you. And coming in fifth on this list today, guys, I got something that kind of shocked me a little bit, but since I've got it, I've been using it nonstop. It's called Loop Mix by Audio Modern. Uh, when you open up Loop Mix, it's going to look like this. So for me, this is super nice because if you follow the channel, I'm not really a sample based producer. Um, so I don't do a lot of chopping up samples. I'm not going to be chopping up drum breaks and all that stuff. I'm just going to make them myself. But I have been enamored with this tool. I've been just using it to get different drum patterns and different drum fills than I would normally get. So basically what this tool allows you to do is drop six different drum breaks or samples. It doesn't matter. They don't have to be drum breaks, but I use drum breaks on this. Six different drum breaks in there. And then you can go through and chop up your drum breaks and do all kinds of different stuff. You can change the density of them. So you can chop up the, the drum and make it a roll. You can reverse sounds. You can rearrange the stuff. So um, this is basically all the samples. The drum breaks that you've been hearing on a couple of these beats today are from this. So this is one of the drum breaks that I put together. Super solid, you know, straight boom bap break. Um, so this is what it sounds like by itself with no beat. So now what's cool about this is that if the drum break is longer than four bars or eight bars or whatever, it'll just continuously go. So every time that that drum break hits at this spot, it's gonna play whatever the sound is. So you can move stuff around, you know, you can highlight something else if you want to, and now I can make this play instead. You know, that didn't fit, but whatever the sound is, you know, and you can just start meshing loops together and getting some wild drums. All right, so I wanna show you something else that's pretty cool with this too. If you hit this infinity button right here, and then if I was to push play, and then after it goes around every time, it's gonna change a couple of the different um, patterns in this sequence. So boom, bam, it'll change it. Sometimes it's gonna sound really good, sometimes it won't. So then here's one more instance where I actually use loop mix on a beat too. It's one of the beats that we've been sampling today.
So you can see there, it was like the little reverse, that little open hat, that little high hat, those all made differences in the beat and they weren't in the original pattern and boom, bam, easily I was able to make it work. So I, I, I'm feeling this one. It takes me back to um, the early 2000s when we were making beats on acid and this was the only way to chop up drum samples was to slide them into your timeline and you had to cut them. There was no other way, there was no other way. The sixth plugin that I have for you guys today comes from Nikki Romero and Cable Guys. It is called Kickstart 2. Uh, when you open up Kickstart 2, it looks like this. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, this made my list, but I only use this to sidechain my kicks to the 808s. I don't use this plugin for anything else, but I use it so much for that, it definitely makes the cut. So if you watch this channel for a while, you know I've been a proponent of you don't need to sidechain the kick to an 808 all the time just find the right kick in 808. This kind of eliminate having to find the right kick in 808, you can make it work all the time. So with this plugin right here, um, as you're looking at it, so basically what this plugin does is it ducks the beginning of the 808 and lets the kick come through so that they don't clash. So let's go ahead and listen real quick. When we're listening to the beat in the 808, I'm gonna have all the drums going. Just listen, pay attention to the kick in the 808. So you can see they're they're fighting for the same frequencies. But once I turn Kickstart 2 on, so I don't know if you guys could tell, but for me, the first one sounded like mush. And then the second one, you could definitely hear the kick punching through. Let's go ahead and hear that though into the actual beat. I'm gonna turn the distortion back on again, and we're gonna turn it on and off and see if we can tell the difference. So I'm gonna turn kickstart off, and then I'm gonna play it without kickstart on. So now let's turn kickstart on and listen to it. So what you can hear is you can hear crystal clear the kick. And so the reason why you can hear that is when you're looking at it, this allows you to draw when you want the 808 to start. And so basically it's gonna duck the 808 until it comes right here. So you can look right here. So then we're gonna look right here and we're gonna see a yellow and a white. The yellow is gonna be a kick. So as we're looking here, I'm gonna pull this over here. This yellow is gonna be the kick. So I want the bass to hit like right here in the middle of that transient a little bit, but I want that initial transient of the kick to hit. So you can see this is the kick hitting and then it's rolling into the 808. And that's how you get that clear kick to hit through every time. This is definitely a must have, especially if you have a problem making your kick and your 808 sound good together. So I know this next selection is probably going to trigger every single person that is watching this video. I'm sorry, not sorry. But the next plugin on this list is definitely going to be Arcade by Output, respectfully. <laughs> so I know Arcade by Output's been out for a while, for a few years now, and this is supposed to be plugins of just 2022. But the reason that I'm including Arcade is because Arcade adds so much new stuff all the time that I feel like we can't just be forgetting about this plugin. So when we hop into Arcade, as we look this year, this year alone, they've dropped Anthem Beats, they dropped Future Perfect, they dropped Downtime, which is fire for lo-fi stuff. They dropped this Pop Underground, they dropped these ARPs, they dropped these Jukebox Vocals, they dropped these Brainwaves, they've dropped all these new sounds, this Zero Hour, all this new stuff in here, um, Vocode, all this new stuff for you to be able to create with. So granted, it's not a new plugin, but I feel like they got enough new expansions in here that will allow me to put it on the list. So for me, Arcade is definitely one of my top five plugins. I'm not just saying that, no cap. Um, I can always find inspiration with that. If you guys watch the channel, you know I use Arcade all the time because all those vocal chops you always hear in these beats, they always come from Arcade. And Arcade even has sounds like this. So here's a nice little sound that I got from Arcade for this beat right here. And then I also got that vocal from there too, so I'll play the vocal with it as well. So now we'll play the beat with the uh, without the Arcade and with the Arcade and just see the difference it makes. So obviously it still sounds okay, but once we add Arcade on there. Awesome. 
And that's really what set the beat apart. And to be honest, that arcade sound that I found was the second sound I found and I built everything else on the beat around that. So for me, I like arcade a lot for multiple reasons. One of the reasons is because if I'm not sure if a vocal can sit in the beat, I can just go grab some from arcade and I can see if it can sit in the beat. So again, for me, arcade is definitely a must have for all producers. And the eighth plugin I got for you guys today comes from Isotope. It is called Ozone 10. Um, obviously, most of you guys know what Ozone 10 looks like, but when you open up Ozone 10, it does look like this. Um, I absolutely love Ozone. I'm a huge fan of Ozone. I will always recommend Ozone. It's what I use to master. Um, basically, with Ozone, you can easily get your beat to get some more life. This beat wasn't all the way mixed down. I apologize for that. I can recognize that this isn't my current situation forever. So we're gonna move pretty soon. So I have no treatment here. So I haven't been mixing anything all the way down. So, but this is what this beat sounded like before Ozone was on there. But now once we add Ozone on there, we can bump it up a little bit and get it to sound like this. So as you can hear there, it added more oomph, it added more width, it added more everything to the beat by basically adding an EQ, an imager, and a maximizer. But what's nice about um, what they've done with, with, with Ozone now is that I love this soft clip feature in here because I know like old school mixing and stuff like that isn't like mixing for modern music. So having a soft clipper in the actual plugin is super dope because it allows me to put it where I want it at in the chain. So I would actually have my soft clipper on my maximizer spot in my chain. And it just allows me to mix better without having to have a soft clipper before I have my ozone on there. Super nice tool. Um, I also love how they have the new transient shaper. So they have, um, they have this impact and this impact allows you to add more, more oomph to your transients. And they also have the spectral shaper, which is nice as well. They overdid the, the UI a little bit. So it looks a little pre prettier, a little cleaner, but ultimately I feel like, um, I never used the master assistance before I've used it a little bit more now. And I feel like it's more accurate for what I want my sound to sound like as well. But if you don't have ozone 10, it's definitely a must. Cause that's what you need to master. All right, guys, coming up ninth on this list today, we have smart comp by Sonable. Uh, when you open up Smart Comp, it is going to look like this. Um, Smart Comp is an AI powered compression plugin. The reason why I put this on my list is that I use this often for guitars um, because I'm not really the greatest when it comes to compression with guitars. I can admit that we all have flaws and that's one of mine. I didn't use this on a guitar today, but I did use it on a drum bus because I feel like this is what a lot of people could use it on. Um, I have other tools that I use on drum buses though. Um, so with this, um, what's super nice is that you can basically push this little green button and you can set it up to whatever you want it to. And the AI will think and it'll figure it all out and it'll give you a good setting for whatever it is that you want to compress. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, push play on this and I'm going to let you guys hear what it sounds like um, in the mix um, without smart comp on there. And then I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to turn smart comp on while it's playing so you can hear the difference. So that's pretty cool. It's giving me that extra amount of volume that I want while it is also limiting one of the sounds because one of the sounds in there is super loud and I couldn't get it down in that drum sample. Um, so basically that smart comp is not allowing it to break that threshold, which is nice. So it's super easy to use. You can just find whatever it is that you want. We're just gonna say drum bus. Um, and then you can just push this button right here. And then as soon as you push play, And so then it went and figured out what it thought would be the best compression. So let's go ahead and listen to what that sounds like um, with the compression on there. And then let's see what it sounds like without it on there or without it on there and then with it on there. So as you can hear, it's giving the drums a little bit more and it's gonna allow them to slice through that mix a little bit more. All right, guys, and coming up last but not least on this top 10 list of 2022 plugins is definitely Clarity by Waves. 
Um, Clarity is a tool that basically removes background sounds from a sample. So if you have a vocal, what it will do is it will take that sample, that noise out for you. So instead of actually recording something in demonstration, I will never be able to do a better demonstration than I did in the video that I made from this. So I'm actually going to just stick that in right here. What up guys? So I'm outside. The neighbors are getting some yard work done. Um, so you can hear the, the weed eater going next door. They're getting the lawn mowed and all that stuff. But I wanted to do the test um, so that we could know exactly if this um, software could take out the background noise from all the lawn service work and all that good stuff. Um, so I had to make sure I recorded this. Now you can hear the lawnmower going a little bit more. Um, I don't have nothing inspirational to say. This is simply for the sound test to see if, you know, we can take all that background noise out of these recordings um, with this Waves plugin. So then as you can see there, it does a wonderful job of taking out all kinds of background noises um, from whatever your vocal sample was to repair them. I use this all the time more than you guys would really know uh, because sometimes I have issues with audio when I'm recording and so on and so forth. So I really do use this often. This is definitely a heaven sent for me. Um, but basically, guys, that's my top 10. Let me know what I got wrong. Let me know below down in the comments what your top 10 are. We can debate about it all day. I know I'll be down there talking to y'all. So uh, make sure if you guys do like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button. Hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.